Paula Topman has been doing some digging into this recent string of threats. And Paula, we are seeing more of these, it seems, in the wake of school shootings like the one in Florida. But I know you've been doing some research to show the other side of the fact that these actually do occur throughout the year. Yeah, listen, here's the thing. Counties are absolutely inundated with threats, Karen, and, and we're just talking about threats. It takes hundreds of hours to investigate and prosecute just a single threat. And so that's also really very taxing on the taxpayer. And here's the other thing. It is just plain a scourge. Good morning. My name is Brian Gearbaugh, and I'm the superintendent of Milan Area Schools. This morning, we received a bomb threat. The Milan School District is not alone. School bomb threats and threats of violence are happening at an alarming rate. Just a sampling of area prosecutors' offices is startling. In 2016, we charged 17 different juveniles with false report of terrorism or false report of a bomb threat, which are both felonies. 2017, the exact same number, 17 different juveniles. Now this year in 2018, we've already charged five different juveniles and three since Stoneman Douglas which is scary in and of itself. But what's more scary is currently the Sheriff's Department has more than a dozen active investigations going on of school violence, of school threats. Wayne County has a total of 44 charges in the year 2017. From false report or threat of a bomb to making terrorist threats, these are felonies. The malicious telecommunications use charges are misdemeanors. Don't get around because we don't get around. Don't even think about it. In Oakland County, there have been six charges of making threats just since the shooting in Florida, including one with warrant paperwork still on the desk of Oakland County prosecutor Jessica Cooper to be processed today. We are not kidding. Kidding is not a defense. And it's not just students making the threats. One of them was a, a mother who was very angry at at the school or at some teacher, and she made a threat. These are just a few of the lowlights. Tristan Newtonen Weinman, Kendall White, Christian Aguirre Roke. These are adults who could face between four to 20,000 years in jail if convicted. This is serious business, and prosecutors are leveraging the law as sternly as possible, even when many in the public say they are being too severe with juveniles. For the school threats, is this is my little darling. He's only kidding. The days of law enforcement saying, ah, that's just some kid crying out for help or some kid being a kid, those days are so long over with that they don't exist anymore. Most of the time, uh, in the juvenile facilities, uh, we, we're going to charge the 20-year felony. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's the thing. So we're talking about 4 to 20 years. By the way, Oakland County has a 100% conviction rate for these kinds of charges. A and adults, I mean, it is no joke. It's no joke for juveniles either. And Karen, by the way, if you are a juvenile, they got something a little extra special for you. We're going to talk about that at 6 o'clock. All right. Thank you, Paula.